The Australian Agricultural Company has been raising cattle for almost 200 years. Now it is one of dozens of traditional beef producers that are enjoying a multi-billion dollar boom. As changing consumer tastes in Asia increase demand, new technology is being used to boost production. Clint Ashbacker is station manager at Wellara, an Australian agricultural company property with 4,000 head of breeding cattle. I was born and raised in Canada on a family operation. I've worked around North America on cattle places. And spent a bit of time around Australia before getting a job with IA company, but I also spent uh, 20 months in Russia setting up a beef operation. Mm. In terms of beef production, you know, Australia is is at the forefront in, in new technologies, um, in even stuff as simple as yard design. The cost of production is more favourable in Australia than some of the northern climates, and um, the economies of scale that Australia affords it um, positions us in a really good um, place in the world market. In 2015, Australia briefly overtook Brazil and India as the world's largest beef exporter, due to a surge in exports to China and the US. Companies like Australian Agricultural are deploying new technologies to boost production. So that's her pedigree? Here on Willara Station, we're able to use technology a few different ways. We actually use it for our water medicated system to supplement the animals. Um, we use telemetry to monitor our water usage and um, ensure that you know we don't have any water issues with the cattle. We're going down the road with trialing drones um, for both um, pasture monitoring but also water monitoring. Wallara Station is home to the largest herd of Wagyu cattle outside Japan. Rare breeds of cattle that produce some of the world's most expensive beef. It is using some of the most advanced DNA and genomics technologies for its breeding program. Another thing that we use is tissue sampling units. Um, we're going down that road to, to be able to take samples that will then tell us the genomic profiles of these animals. We use AI. We have used embryo transplant in the past. We use a program called Stalkit for individual animal recording, so that shows us um, pretty much lifetime traceability where they've been um, when they were there, you know, any treatments those animals may have had, the weight gains over time, the fertility records, it's all very important and um, fertility is your number one driver on economic production in beef cattle, so that's a pretty important trait to record. Uh, we use carcass ultrasound um, data to help ensure we're picking the right cattle to continue breeding on and multiplying their genetics. Billionaire Bill Gates visited the farm in December with experts from his philanthropic foundation. They wanted to see if some of the technologies could be applied to boost production in poor countries. Meanwhile, for the Australian agricultural company, it is surging demand from China and other Asian nations that is driving profits. Jamie Smith, Financial Times, Willara Station.